we don't come from Africa on slave ships, okay? This was our land. Um, we are the ones that they broke the treaties with, okay? They broke the treaties with my people. I have my great-great-grandmother on my dad's mother's side. Same place, you know, Alabama, uh, Georgia, Alabama, that, that, that area over there, okay? This is where majority of our people resided. It says ethnicity is American. Our ethnicity is... American, okay, not African. They lied to us, okay. This is my land. Ethnicity on the census says American, all right, not African. So, time's up for you telling us who we are, all right. This was the promised land, and the Father allowed the worst of the heathen to come over here and destroy our land and us, okay? But I just had some... I had, I had some stuff to say, bro. I connect my life. My life is connected. I need to call about Tyge's dry food. Um, it still has not arrived. I ordered it on the fourth, and at that time he was he was kind of low on food, you know. And now he only has like enough for like maybe two or three more meals max. Is at the end of the bag, you know. And I have no physical money to go buy him a bag of food. Um, I only have the digital currency that I used to buy him a bag. And because the third party uh, seller that Walmart decided to use without my consent, by the way, because I had no idea that they were going to do this. Um, I ordered from the Walmart website on September 4th. Cat food for Tiggy is dry food. And, you know, I didn't know that it was going to be a different seller. You know, I'm not used to shopping online, you know, so um, it's just it's just been a horrible experience, bro. And now he's almost out of food and that still has not arrived. And they're talking to me because the shipper, the seller and shipper decided to leave off my apartment number. And then on top of that, they have put restrictions on the item. So now the deliverer, who is FedEx, they're forbidden from making any changes to the address unless it comes from the shipper, the seller. <laughs> but the shipper, the shipper slash seller has an answering call, like a, a call answering. Okay, like a, like a uh, answering service. All right, it's an answering machine, and they never answer the phone. Okay, so there's been tons of voice messages left for their staff. Twice now, I have contacted Walmart, and Walmart has contacted them or have tried to contact them. In which they never answer their phone, but messages have been left. Okay, I received email confirmation that Walmart contacted the seller. Okay, and yet they still have not fixed this situation. They still have not remedied this situation. Both times that I contacted Walmart, I was instructed by Walmart that the seller should reach out to me within 48 hours. This has never happened on either time. Either time, the seller has not 
reached out to me. They have yet to reach out to me. The seller slash shipper of my item, um, they're, they're, <laughs> They're irresponsible, bro. Like, what in the hell? How are you going to leave off my my freaking apartment number and then put a restriction on it being delivered to me because of your mistake? And then you refuse to reach out to the person that, that's having this issue. You're holding my cat food up, bro. Like, my cat needs his food. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Because I've, I've spoke with FedEx. I've reached out to FedEx several freaking times, and FedEx can't do anything. Well, I reached out to FedEx twice. The first time, the guy was rude, you know, um, saying there ain't nothing they can do. He wouldn't even tell me who the, who the shipper was, you know, who the seller was. Um, just told me that I have to contact the seller. You know, never told me who the seller was. And I had, so I had no idea who the seller was. The second person that I spoke to from FedEx, um, they told me the same thing that they can't make any changes on the address because there's a restriction from the seller. The, the seller who shipped out the package without my apartment number. They put a restriction on any changes being made. To the address. <laughs> like, bruh. And, and so the second person uh, at least had the courtesy to tell me the seller was Home Depot. Okay? And then I, I, was, I was instructed that I need to contact Home Depot to have Home Depot contact FedEx. So then I'm on the phone for like 20 freaking minutes. Okay? Get this, 20 freaking minutes at least that I'm on hold with an, well, I got to go through this automated robotic ass system, which really irritates me to my deepest core, okay? I hate this shit with a passion, all right? I don't hate people, all right? But I hate this system. I hate this robotic ass bullshit that they force on me, okay? I am forced to go through their automated robotic ass system. I am forced to listen to a robotic ass voice, okay? I, I cannot, bro. I, I cannot, all right? It, it, it irritates me. I'm sorry, but that irritates me and I just cannot, all right? I hate it with a freaking passion. This is why I hate dealing with customer service because every single customer service now have adopted this automatic robotic ass system that, bro, I hate this. I, I hate this world. I hate this system. It's some bullshit, okay? It's some utter freaking bullshit, all right? How hard is it to pay somebody to answer the freaking phone? You, th This is how it used to be, okay? I, I remember when I would call customer service and it wasn't a robotic ass freaking system. We need to go back to that, okay? Because, okay, all right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done with this, bro. So anyway, for 20 minutes, 20 minutes, all right, I'm on hold. Waiting for a live agent every 30 seconds, every 30 seconds, a robot, this robotic ass, same robotic ass voice says the same crap over and I wouldn't listen. I would not listen. Oh, I, bro. I, I talked the whole time. Okay. Like basically just going off like. Bro, you know how I can talk, all right? So I'm I'm basically telling it to shut the hell up. I ain't listening to you. You are not gonna program me. You know this is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> bro, I just kept on because I was not gonna listen to that bullshit. But this kept on for 20 minutes, all right? 15 to 20 minutes, at least, okay? Like every 30 seconds, every 30 seconds, bro. This is some programming manipulative bullshit from the kingdom of Satan, okay? And people can't see this shit, all right? They're forced. 
to be complacent with this bullshit, okay? And I hate it with a passion, okay? With a passion! I hate commercials. I hate forced ads, okay? These things is okay to hate, all right? Because it's inanimate and it's forced by Satan, okay? Look, hate is the opposite of love. I don't love this world. I hate this world, all right? The scripture tells you, be not lovers of this world. So if I am not a lover of this world, then clearly it is the opposite for me. I hate this world, this system, okay? This is some bullshit. And I really wish people could see. I really wish people could open their eyes and unstop their ears. I wish that they could hear me, okay? Like, bro, can you not see? Yeah, this is me, people. This is me. And you know, 100% me, bro. And see, all my life, you know, people, you know, I am a positive sign. Leo is a positive sign. You know, and I am very optimistic. But I call shit the way I see it, bro. I call shit how it is. You know, an old sugar coat. And when I see shit, you know, I, I call it what it is. You know, and because I have the eyes to see, I'm looked at as someone who is always negative. I'm looked at as someone who's always trying to bring down the party. You know, trying to, you know, stamp out the fun. But, you know, I'm like, well, this is not fun. This is a deception. Why can't you see? Why can't you hear what I'm saying? Like, why can't you understand? You think it's fun to worship money. Well, majority of the world is suffering in poverty. But you're living lavishly. You don't have to worry about paying your bills. You don't have to worry about how you are going to eat. You have freaking abominable eating competitions. Well, there are people that are literally starving in the world. Do you understand how abominable that is before the eyes of your maker? You're having freaking food eating competitions. Well, there are all of these people that's literally starving without food. You're throwing away billions. You just you just dump it. You 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 dump billions of pounds worth of food. Just just throw it away. You don't care about the starving people that like why are you why are you doing this? Why why have you impoverished the world? Why have you forced the world to be dependent upon your system? And the people that are dependent upon the system they have become complacent in their captivity. But I have been awakened in the land of my captivity. And the Father has brought back to remembrance of who I am. Therefore, I don't have to put my trust and faith in this system anymore. Because my trust and faith is in the living power that woke me up here in the land of my captivity. I 
I didn't wake myself up. All my life I had the eyes to see. I just had no understanding. And he says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Hell yes, we were destroyed in this land. We were overrun and downtrodden in this land. You don't think that this was biblical prophecy? What so-called black people had to go through here in America? No, the Christian church just wants to sweep that all up under the rug, you know. Let's not talk about the lynchings that we did to your people, the public hangings, and putting ads in the newspaper to come watch your hanging, you know. They, they made it a spectacle. Just like back in the day when they threw our people in lion's dens and, you know, in, in, in the... Uh, you know, arenas, people go freaking visit this in Rome. You know, they go to the gladiator arenas and then they think that this is, you know, a glorious place to go freaking visit and, you know, spend time with family or loved ones. You know, they like, bro, this world is so asinine. Okay, this is this was a place of horror. This was a place of death where innocent Israelites were forced to that they, they were forced in there. Okay. Bruh, they did the same thing here in the Americas. Everything that's considered wholesome and good. Like, I grew up going to a zoo, okay? I grew up going to zoos on school trips. You know, they sponsor these school trips to take children, school children, on a school bus to the zoo. You know? To see the animals at the zoo. This was something normal. But they get the father's innocent creation in prison. And many of these animals have been abused. By the hands of their captors. And then they portray. Or like anytime there's a movie about the zoo or whatever. They portray the captors as you know all benevolent. But in reality. They abuse these animals. So, our mind has to be renewed, people. You you have been living in la-la land. You've been living in the freaking illusion, but yet I have been looked at as crazy my whole life. But now, <laughs> ironically, those who's been looked at as crazy our whole life, well... <laughs> Uh, you're going to be looking to us for understanding, okay? Because you've been living in illusion while we've been trying to tell you this all our life, okay? All our life we've been trying to tell you, all right? And now, now that, now that we have understanding, now we're here to warn you, okay? Because all our life we were telling you, you know, what we were seeing, but, but you know, none of us had understanding, but you, you couldn't see. And because you couldn't see, you begin to demonize us and ostracize us and, you know, ridicule us, reject us. So we were forced to be isolated. But now, because the Father has given us understanding and he woke us up in the land of our captivity, um, yeah, yeah. Now we're the living witnesses because now we have understanding. Now we can break these things down for you in order to help you. We're, we, we don't hate you. We don't hate nobody. We operate in love, divine love, not, not the love of this world because the love of this world is nothing more than lust. Okay. Like the, the people of this world don't know what love is. Okay. Because if they truly love you know, if they had divine love, like real love, they wouldn't have this capitalistic mentality. They wouldn't be complacent with this system that forces everybody to slave for their bare necessities and save their money. No, they would, uh, they would know that there is something wrong with that. There's something wrong with hoarding 
all of this money and all of this wealth. Like, bro, how do you praise the queen and, you know, the, the pope and these people who's got freaking rows and rows and rows and rows of gold and precious jewels that they stole from the indigenous people. Like, you you have triple, quadruple blindfolds around your eyes. Like, what is wrong? Like, you need, you need to, like, remove these blinders, okay? Like, it is not hard. It is not... What is the point? Of, of impo bro, they impoverished the whole world. They, they, they pillaged, they raped and pillaged the whole freaking world, okay? The whole earth. But yet these are the people that is put on a pedestal. These are the people that are praised like, oh, they're so great. Oh, you know, I wish I was like them. Like, are you serious? I, I just cannot. <laughs> I cannot. My heart is completely different, Okay. I, I am on a whole different dimension, okay? I can't wait till the righteous kingdom come, bro. Oh my God. This robotic ass capitalistic society that I was forced to grow up in has irked me all the days of my life. And it's only getting worse, okay? Like I said, you know, me when I grew up, there was no automated system, you know, <laughs> when you call customer service. No, there was a, a human being on the other end of that line, you know, with a happy, cheery voice, wanting to help you, wanting to serve you, you know. I, I enjoy being a servant. I enjoy serving others, okay? It makes me happy to make others happy, okay? It makes me happy to share. You know, that, that makes me joyous of heart to be able to share, to be able to give, you know, to be able to help. That that makes my life feels like it has meaning. That gives meaning to my life. Okay? But many people are complacent with a meaningless life because money it that that, that has no value outside of this world. So that means you're you're living a meaningless life, okay? Your life has, like, you, you have demoted your life down to material possessions and money. Both of which is going to blow up like a puff of smoke, okay? It, like, it's, it's going to poof on you. And, and, and then you're not going to have anything. And so you, you this is how the scripture is going to be fulfilled. That those who are the most wealthy... Those who are the highest on the pedestal, the harder they're going to fall and the most more humiliated they're going to be because they are completely wholly dependent upon their money and their, their materialistic things. But when this is shown to the whole world to be a false God, to be falsehoods, to be an illusion... You know, <laughs> there ain't nowhere to go from that. <laughs> what are you going to have? What are you going to... Because this didn't come from the Most High. Wealth and materialistic things didn't come from the Most High. No. See? The value of the earth and its precious things... Um, the value system of it did not come from the Most High. Let me put it that way. All right. The Most High did not create money. The living power never created money. Okay. True wealth is the wisdom and knowledge of your maker and yourself. 
Okay? Know thyself, and thou shalt know the universe and God. KRS-1. You know? Because we are mere extensions of the living power. But people are ignoring that. They're ignoring that they are spirit in a fleshly mortal body. Their spirit came from somewhere. They're not acknowledging that. Their whole life is meaningless because their spirit takes a back seat while their flesh lives out a robotic ass life. Because your flesh is of Lucifer. Your flesh is of Satan. But your spirit is of the Most High. That's why we're instructed to walk in the spirit, not in our carnal flesh. Because when you walk in your carnal flesh, and you accept all these things that you've been cultivated and groomed into accepting your whole life, that's what school was all about. You know, training you to be a robot for this system. You are complacent with that. You comply with that because you get rewarded your money. <laughs> okay? And so now you're participating in this rat race society, you know, against your neighbor. You don't love your neighbor as you do yourself. No, you're selfish. You want to earn your money so that you and your family will be safe. You're trusting in your money. You're trusting in your own might and your own effort. And all my life, this has been what I have seen and what I have been forced to participate in. Okay, but I had no understanding. I had no understanding. But it would piss me off that I was forced to spend my time, energy, and effort earning money which was taken from me the moment that I got it. Okay? I experienced that over half my damn life. Alright? Could barely make enough to have my damn pacifiers. Alright? So... Um, I ain't even trying to talk very long, bro. I'm not trying to stay on here. But this is this is what be on my mind. This was this is what be on my heart, bro. Breaking down this system that we were born in, okay? Because the system was already established. Do you not understand? When we were born on this earth, this system was already here, people. Okay, the system was already well established. Okay, it's been well established. <laughs> and, and, you know, you don't start to question the things that you're taught to believe. You're so puffed up in your pride and in your arrogance. And you want to look your nose down at those of us that don't comply with the very system that you have become comfortable and complacent in. Well, I'm not comfortable and complacent in this world underneath this system because those that created this system was the most wicked people upon the face of the earth. And those that are on top right now are the most wicked people upon the face of this earth. Those in your prominent positions, those at the top, those that are, are able to make all of this money while all of those underneath them are barely making it them damn selves, all the CEOs of your corporations, they are about to face great judgment. These messages are going out to the victims of this society, this world. People are mistaking me 
I am not bashing the victims. But I am not a sugar coater. Okay? I fight for your freedom. Alright? That means I love you. As I do myself. I want you all happy and free. I'm exposing your captivity. So why, oh why, do you hate me? You think I'm coming to take away your fun. This is not fun. It's not fun stepping on your neighbor in order to climb the ladder so that you can make more money. So that you can do what you call fun activities. That's only temporary. And it comes with misery. Because you're going to reap what you sow. We are all connected. We are one with the, with the spirit, with the consciousness of the Most High. That's why we all have a conscience. Whether you tune your conscience out or not. You had one. You still have one. You just choose to turn it off. And it gets seared with a hot iron. And, and you pollute your temple, you know, with dead bodies. You know, so now, you, now you, you're infested with all kinds of maggots and parasites. You know, they get in your brain and they talk to you. They give you cravings. And you continuously destroy your temple, the real temple of the Most High. You pollute and you destroy that. Well, of course you, com you, 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 you become completely, holistically demon-possessed. And then you do things that you don't even know how you did that. You don't even know how you how you could go and and you know rape you know all of these women and murder them. You you don't you don't know how you know you can commit all of these heinous atrocities. They call it mental illness. It's not mental illness. It is it's demon possession. Clean up your temple. Go back to the original diet that the Most High gave us in the beginning. Eat the fruits of the earth. You know, eat watermelon. You know, you know seven days. Eat watermelon. Nothing but watermelon. <laughs> you know, seed it, of course. Organic. Discipline your flesh. I take, I got to take my own advice because I, I like to eat, okay? Keeping it real. I enjoy food, all right? I eat once a day, typically, you know? Um, sometimes, you know, I'll have the rest of my leftovers, um, you know, a couple of hours later. But, that, you know, it's rare. It's rare. Most of the time I eat once per day. Every now and then I might make some pancakes, you know. On a day that I take off from making videos or I have a short video to make. Um. Anyway, bro. Like I said, I'm not trying to stay on here forever. Alright? 